Hello, the internet. It is Thursday. Get ready for dick jokes. I've been trying to avoid this story for a while now, but like a hard-on in the morning, I can no longer ignore it. At the beginning of the month, U.S. Congressman Anthony Weiner sent some sexy pictures via Twitter to a young woman. When he was called out, he adamantly denied that the picture was him, claimed that his Twitter was hacked, and then five days later, he changed his mind and was like, yes, I'm sorry, the picture was me. Not only did I send them to this woman, but also to five others. After last week, I think we all know my position on sexting. But here's the other thing that pisses me off about this story. How do we still live in a world where people haven't figured out yet that if you post something on the internet, even if you delete it, it will be preserved by someone, somewhere, especially if you're in the public eye, and especially Especially if it's a picture of your dick. A dick pic, if you will. And what pisses me off even more is that this always happens to successful people, who are more often than not also married to another attractive, successful person. I would love to know the thought process that went through Anthony Weiner's head right before he posted those pictures on Twitter. I got a hot wife, I'm a US congressman, what is my life missing? Showing people on the internet my dick. And why even use your personal Twitter account? If you really need to show your drunk off to the internet, that's what chat roulette is for. When did Twitter become the be-all and end-all for affairs? I remember when sex scandals actually involved sex. But apparently sexting isn't nearly as bad as sexing, because only 30% of people polled want to see Wiener resign as congressman. The majority agreed that what he did was unethical, they also agreed that it wasn't illegal. This to me is another clear sign that we are creeping towards my prophesized slutpocalypse. <laughs> Included in the 30% that want to see Wiener resign is Republican Speaker John Boner. That's right, the internet. Boner wants to see Wiener resign. My experience is usually the other way around, that Wiener wants to get rid of Boner. Despite this story further ruining my faith in humanity, I would do anything in the world to be a headline writer right now. Headlines like Boner disgusted with Wiener's form. Boner butts head with Wiener. Boner surprised that Wiener is still staying strong. And go on forever, but I'm not going to. Boner expects Wiener to prematurely evacuate. Okay, I'm done. Seriously, it's like an eight-year-old got the power to manipulate world events. I'm just sitting back and waiting for William Shits to become the mayor of Poopville. Really, are you disappointed that I just made a poop joke? you, it's my show, I do what I want. Thank you for watching the internet. My name is Dave Miller, and this has been your wake-up call. And don't get me wrong, I like naked pictures as much as the next guy, but at no point in time have I been sitting next to a fireplace with a glass of brandy, smoking a cigar in a velvet house coat, looking at my cell phone and saying, yes, those are exquisite breasts, perhaps I will frame this one. Because if there's one thing that is definitely not classy, it's sexting. The lens is dirty. The lens is so dirty. I'd love to know the thought process that went through Anthony we Wieners. Wieners. This whole video is about wieners and I can't even say wiener. Wiener. Wiener.